Hi everyone, we've just concluded our fourth Modern Workplace event series event here in Sydney around the digital revolution. And with that, we've focused heavily in areas such as intelligent communications, collaboration, and also security, focusing on the great capability of Microsoft 365. But one thing that we know is that if you can't work effectively, then you can't take advantage of these fantastic innovations. And that's why we've um, enlisted Cyril to, to help us. So Cyril Popignon works for Work Smarter, Live Better, and they're a consultant who's been working extensively with Microsoft um, and our partners and customers over the past, uh, past weeks, months, and years. And Cyril, it'd be great just to get some of your insights as to, to what you've seen and also um, what you're seeing in the modern workplace, because you talk about uh, you know, not being trained to work. Well, what, what, does that, what does that actually mean? Yeah, something that surprised me over the year where you work with CEO, you work with leaders and you think that those people are very highly effective and um, I started the, uh, the discussion with something I think has shocked people which is the most people have they been shown out to work and so what do you mean by that? Well if you really think about it, when you go to school, you go to university, you learn more qualifications so you become a doctor, you become an engineer, you become an accountant and one day you start working and I, and I gave some example I think that uh, we all had a lot. I looked at well let's look at how you organize yourself, let's look at your desk, let's look at the pile of the document on your desk, now it's moved to your computer, let's look at under your inbox all the folders and how people keep up the folders and subfolders and sub 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 folders and ask people say well why, why are you doing this way, why, why did you keep this way of organizing yourself for this kind of folders and most people say I don't know, I have so much information that I need to keep that I try to find a system that works for me. Is that the best way of doing it? Uh, maybe yes, maybe no. Have they been shown how to do this? Yeah, absolutely. And, and there were certainly some pieces that you made me look in the mirror and feel a bit uncomfortable at times there um, in the session today, but, but that's great. I have, I have sometimes people saying to me, Cyril, do you have a webcam in my office? You know, is that <laughs> it? <laughs> so, yes. And what, what are the big, you know, you mentioned email, what are the, some of the big pitfalls you're seeing uh, people take every single day um, as, they, as they try to become more productive? I think there is a, a confusion between uh, quantity and quality. Think, people think performance is about quantity, it's about the number of meetings you're doing, it's about um, the number of email you're responding, the number of tasks you're doing, and I think performance is about quality. Uh, and, and, and there's this big pitfall at the moment where we try to be more collaborative, and collaboration is really important, and the tools to support that are very important. But sometime it comes to the detriment of quality and of focus. Yeah, and that makes sense. And that ties into what we're seeing in the market where there's just so much data being created right now. You know, they say that 90% of the total data in the world has been created in the past two years, right? Crazy. So it's just, just hitting people. So for the people watching this, top tip, what, out of everything that you talk about, and I know it's extensive, what is the one top tip that you, or takeaway you'd, you'd, you'd suggest people get on with straight away? A hard question because when we work with, uh, with a team, we take them through, so we work with leaders and their team and we take them through a four months journey. So top tip on the top of my long. I'd probably say, focus is one, but I will say also prioritize by impact. What do I mean by this? With the speed of everything which is going, um, with the number of email we are receiving, with the number of meeting, I mean, I've moved from the logic of looking at people's calendar um, and saying it used to be back to back, and so people used to be back to back. Now I call that the Tetris calendar, and the Tetris calendar is you've got three meetings at one competing for one spot. That Tetris, that's what our calendar looks like. So the speed has accelerated. You're making me look in the mirror again, by the way. Yes, <laughs> uh, and I think we all, all do. I think we all do. We can all relate to this. Um, with the speed of things we are pushed with, with urgency, we're pushed to look at things and say I need to do this, I need to respond to this and so on. If I have one tip, one simple tip for me, it will be prioritise by impact. What does that mean by this? You look at everything you have to do and most people ask themselves, forward, when is it due? So you look at the list, you look at email, you look at everything we have to do and we always have at the back of our mind, when is it due? And I think you need to fight against that and you need to put another filter in your brain. And the filter that comes above is not when is it due, the most important question is what impact long term. If I can implement, you know um, uh, in the matrix and you put something zip in the back of your mind and you just, you know, and Neo got really trained, if I could zip that to a lot of people which is switch, put your filter, what impact long term. Every quarter I look at my priority and every quarter I choose three priorities based on what impact long term. Every week I look at my list and every week 
I prioritize my list on this logic while impact long term. Every day I look at what I have to do and every day I use this logic while impact long term. The impact long term is not only your performance. I look at my kids, I look at my wife. I have so many emails, no darling, I don't have the time to go out with you. No, uh, Mirabelle, Fleur, or, my, or Cameron, my three kids, I don't have the time. And I think, what impact long term? Responding to this email or spending time with them? Absolutely. That's my tip. And, and look, it's certainly had a, I want to thank you personally because you've had a, a profound effect on my life and how I prioritize things and, and what I see as actually important in my working day, but also in my personal life. Um, and it was really great that we had the opportunity to share some of those insights with our customers today. So really, and, really want to thank you. And, and I really resonate with this because it's not about habits, it's not about having a clear inbox, it's not having about a clear desk, it's not about having a, an organized calendar. That's not what it's about. It's about life, it's about feeling, f it's about freedom, it's about control, it's about moments really matter, living a life is where you really put the moment that matter first. That's what it's about. Great way to finish. Thank you. Thanks so much, Cyril. You're welcome.